Yo, what's up guys? You're for today, bringing us a brand new video, and today we're checking out Naruto Touch Pudding, episode 114. Let's hop into it. Yo, watch out, Sasuke, come on! Stab him in the freaking mouth! Stab him in the freaking mouth. Oh, it's a flashback. The third Hokage was Hokage this time? What is yep. this? Oh, what luck that you found it. A white snake must have shed that skin when it molted. <laughs> I've never seen one before either. Not many get to see one. Why was its skin so white? As far as I'm aware, no Why is your skin so white? To find out. The white snake has been viewed as a symbol of both good luck and renewal. Okay. So it's a symbol of good luck. Well, we saw his turn. His story turned. Perhaps this snake skin is a sign telling you that your parents have been reborn somewhere. I can't say. Only fate holds that answer. That's true. That's true. And Urshimaru may, may never see his parents again because he's choosing the immortal life. Now, Aki, he sure is worked up. The frick? <gasps> That's Lady Tutunade's little brother. Tsunade. We are at war. He had it for her. Tsunade's team was attacked. Man, we can see Urchimaru as, as the hidden leaf shinobi this episode. This is cool. Aww. He got to witness all of his teammates. Such fragile creatures. This is what drove him to be the way he is? All the pain and suffering of others? If we could just release all that power. Urchimaru sensei? That's a student. That is an amulet. An amulet? This thing? He still held on to it all these years. It's quite rare. I've never seen another like it. But Orochimaru Sensei, no matter Renewal. how hard that's, that's, you research, you can't really. That's like he's he's legit a snake. He gets a new body, a new set of skin. My research has given me clues about regeneration, and in addition, we'll be able to heighten our regenerative powers. I'll be able to share that power with you as well. Yes. The key must be the body activating jutsu known as Dang. the curse mark. So the curse mark is the only way we get to regenerate. <gasps> At the touch me. What? That What's about to do? Training like that will get him killed. He's nasty. Look at him, he's shook. Orochi. What you think about him? Oh gosh, he's getting He's getting a little freaky. So he wants it. He wants a shot gun. Alright, what's this? Infiltrated some type of library. Who infiltrated it? Orochi? Yep. This is where he turned. So he's in here finding all the forbidden jutsus. Possible to master even a fraction of all the jutsu within the limited time of a human life. So that's why he wants to freaking live forever, so he can learn all the jutsus. Once I die, all my knowledge and the only way to master every jutsu would be to. So, Orochimaru, now speak. Tell me exactly what you were doing here. Even if I did tell you, you probably wouldn't understand of the mysteries of nature. To me, the lifespan of the human body is too short. Once I died, everything I'd learned and mastered would be lost forever. Experimenting with that jutsu here. Yes, the very one. The reanimation jutsu. Reconsider. No, never. Stop now. When I'm so close to seeing my research come to fruition, everything will be mine, or even by my own body. To it. This is tragic, man. He went mad. He went psycho. He went power hungry. But it's cool to see, you know, his motives. See why he chose the, the path he took. Welcome a new member to the Who the heck is this? <gasps> this is when Itachi joined. Okay. Itachi Uchiha. Okay, so they were partners. Okay. Someone who possesses he got him. Uchimaru, Uchimaru got him. Fortune has smiled upon me again now. I'm going to take your body for my own. Nope, that ain't happening. To a paralysis genjutsu. 
What incredible visual prowess. Oh, he got him. He got him in the, is it, what is that called? The Marengo, Marengo shouting him? What the heck? If you guys want to see my full reaction to this episode, check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash reacts. Alrighty, let's hop back into the video. My eyes can see through all of them. Oh my gosh. Itachi was ahead of his time, man. Gone too soon. Stop Ruchimaru in his tracks. And this is when he gets his chance to get another shotting gun. Very well. Let's go. That's when Sasuke first pulled child, up. He holds the key to my future. I'm sure of it. No. Let's get back to the fight. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. That's the end of his story. That's the end of his story. Orochi, you're done, Zo. Buddy. Well, that's it. Well, that was disappointing. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Bodily fluids of the great serpent evaporate when they meet the air. And I see they're already weakening you. Powerful jutsu can't come close to killing me. Let me take you! Oh, shoot. He got him. He's inside the stomach. Or the throat? Where am I? <laughs> this is where the transference ritual will be held. Shall we begin? Sasuke, you gotta get out of it. You gotta get out of it. Those are all his other bodies he took. What remarkable visual prowess. This is magnificent. <laughs> This is so weird. Those eyes. You're not gonna get him. You're not gonna get him. He's gonna escape somehow. Tomorrow or better yet today. The sooner we perform the ritual, the better. Still, it's not like he could do a thing about it. Not against that ritual. See, they always be saying that against that ritual, against that jutsu. What is that ritual? Come on, stop freaking leading me on. This guy, Kabutu, is the slowest walker ever. You gotta sense something's up, man. What the heck? Why is Sasuke here? <gasps> the giant snake has shed its skin. What is going on here? Yeah, what the heck's going on? Is that Kabuto? Wait, is that Ruchimaru now? In Sasuke's body? Just tell me one thing. Exactly which one are you? You tell me, Kabuto. What the frick? This is the transference ritual. This is it. The moment where the outcome of the ritual is decided. Okay, it already happened. It already happened. Did the curse mark get removed? Sasuke is just too nasty, man. It's impossible. But the shotting gun is too powerful. Sasuke took over your own space, buddy. My eyes. It's always his eyes. Yup. You must know already. How terrifying. Maybe that's a secret. This uh, immortality jutsu is that it can never be overtaken by the shotting gun. Your story ends today. It's another snake. She's close. Okay, so yeah, she was marked too. Okay, it's present day. Present day. We got the five Hokages. And it's Naruto. And it's Naruto. Those clouds. That's gotta be a bad omen. It's like a flaming sunset. The color of blood. Blood has been spilled. And Orochimaru's blood has been spilled. It's done so for him. Another enemy bites the dust. Something wrong. No, it's nothing. It is something. And Itachi 
Sasuke's coming for you. Then Lord Orochimaru is dead. No, I have absorbed him completely. And what? It all remains. Orochimaru's stuck inside of Sasuke. He did the reverse. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, Kabuto, you got to serve Sasuke. Because Urchimaru's in his body. That's what you got to do now. That was a fire episode, man. That was... <sighs> that was good. That was a good episode. I like that one a lot. Wow. So, Sasuke. Okay. Sasuke has now defeated Urchimaru. That was... That was, a, that was We knew that was going to happen. We knew that was going to happen. Sasuke's just too big of a character. Too big of a name. To be just a feast for Orochimaru, for a snack. Like, that's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But I like this episode because we got to see Orochimaru's like, motives and why he is the way he is and why he turned. And it's just because he felt bad for all these people around him dying. And all, this, all the suffering people had to go through because of that. But that's a normal, that's, that's normal part of life. Obviously, battles, war is terrible. But Orochimaru seeing Lady Tutunade... Her loved ones pass away in, in battle and he didn't want to see that pain anymore you know whether it's people he, he cares for or or for himself you know just he want to get past that find a way find a new way for everybody to just live forever but then that turned into him having to learn more jutsus and, and he, get, he gets more powerful and he kind of lost himself in the whole thing in the whole purpose the whole motive and he became mad he became power hungry and in doing so he thought Probably sacrificing people here and there is a proper sacrifice to meet the goal of uh, immortality. But that's not that's not right. That's not right. And he got what was coming for him. So Sasuke actually ate Urchimaru. If I said I'm surprised, I'd be lying to you. I saw it coming. I saw that coming. Not 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 that exact thing, but I knew Sasuke was not gonna let Urchimaru do that. There's just no way. But yeah, if I were to rate this episode quickly for you guys, quickly, I'm gonna give it a Five out of five. I liked it. I liked it. For the episode it was, a follow-up from the last fight with Ruchimaru and Sasuke. I like this one because we got to see got to see more of uh, Ruchimaru's backstory. And so yeah, it was really cool. It was really cool. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed my reaction to this episode, you already know what to do. Leave a like, okay? Leave a like. Comment down below with thoughts and opinions. And subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And ring that bell to be notified right away when I drop the next Naruto Shippuden reaction. Hope to catch you guys in the next one. And until then, y'all take care. And peace out, guys.